The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 33 through 35. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on September 3rd, 1973 in London, England. If, however, you do not fight this religious war, then you will certainly incur sins for neglecting your duties and thus lose your reputation as a fighter. Imam Dharmam, uh, religious fight. Just like even nowadays also, if the soldier disobeys the order of the commander, uh, that soldier is shut down by martial law. Because to disobey the order of the commander is uh, simple. Uh, so, Krishna says, Hathachitam uh, imam dharmam sangramam na karishis. This fight is not ordinary fight. It's not the politician's uh, fight. <clears throat> For the sake of religion, uh, you must fight. And if you do not, then sadharmam, you are a chhatriya, not only chhatriya, you are a very well-known fighter, you have been recognized by so many demigods. Uh, Arjuna got the Pasupat Astra. Uh, to test Arjuna fighting capacity, sometimes uh, <coughs> Lord Shiva and Arjuna was hunting in the forest. So Lord Shiva also as a hunter, he appeared before him. And when a boar was killed by hunting, Lord Shiva claimed that I have done this kill. Uh, Arjuna said, no, I have done this. So there was controversy. Who will claim that hunt, hunt, I mean, this is kill animal? So Arjuna was claiming and Lord Shiva as a hunter, he was also claiming. Then there was fight between Lord Shiva and Arjuna. The Lord Shiva was defeated. So he then disclosed his identity that I am very much pleased that you are such a nice fighter. So he presented him one arrow which is called Pasupat Astra. Similarly, he sometimes fought with Indra. Uh, he gave him uh, some astra weapon. And this was the system that is Khatriya is presented with a kind of weapon. Uh, the Brahmana is presented with Vedas. And so far Vaishyas and Sudras are concerned. They are not very important. So Arjuna was recognized by Lord Shiva, by King Indra, uh, many others also. Uh, so Krishna says that you have got recognition from big personalities. See, if you don't fight, then not only you should be irreligious, but also you lose your reputation. Tata sadhanmaṁ kirtiṁca hitya pāpaṁ avāpṣuṣ pāpaṁ means sin or sinful reaction. Uh, so it has to be just. When 
Sometimes fighting is proper, means sinful activity, and sometimes fighting is punna, pious activity. It requires the time, circumstances, on what ground the fighting was going on, uh, on whose order the fighting was going on. These are to be studied. So, violence or non-violence, uh, our great leader, uh, leader, Mahatma Gandhi, he wanted to prove from Bhagavad Gita non-violence. He started the non-violence movement and he wanted to support. Everyone takes advantage of Bhagavad Gita and tries to support his view uh, on the strength of Bhagavad Gita. Therefore you'll find so many interpretations. Everyone wants to utilize. There are more than six hundred publications, commentaries on Bhagavad Gita. Uh, one doctor Rele in Bombay, he has interpreted Bhagavad Gita as talks between a physician and a patient. So these things are going on. <coughs> but that is not Bhagavad Gita. That is Namlad Balat Jasagi Papa Buddhi. Nama Bhara, ten kinds of offenses. This is offense. Just like Namnad Bhanad Jasahi Papa Buddhi. We say, the Shastra says that by chanting Hare Krishna Mantra, you become cleansed of your sinful activities. That's a fact. But if somebody thinks that I shall go on committing sinful activities and chant Hare Krishna Mantra, so it will be adjusted. Neutralize. Uh, this is the most sinful activity. Namlakva. By the strength of chanting, committing sin. Uh, so similarly, on the strength of Bhagavad Gita, if one wants to prove his foolish philosophy, that is a great offense. Uh, that's a great offense. Therefore, uh, Bhagavad Gita cannot be interpreted by foolish commentators. It must be studied uh, through the parampara system, Acharya Upasana. One must worship the Acharya and learn from him what is Bhagavad Gita. Acharya Man Purusha Veda. This is the Vedic injunction. Who knows things as they are? Acharyavan Purusha, one who is under the guidance of Acharya. So you won't find this foolish non-violence theory from any Acharya. Many Acharyas have commented on Bhagavad Gita. The Ramanu Acharya, Madhya Acharya, even Sankara Acharya. But never say that Bhagavad Gita is proof of non-violence. Non-violence is good. But when there is uh, dharma-yuddha, righteous fighting, there is no question of non-violence. Violence is approved. Uh, therefore Krishna says that tatasadharnam kirtincha will, uh, by neglecting your sadharma, your professional or occupational duty uh, and minimizing the uh, importance of your recognition. Kirti. Kirti Jasya Sadi Guti. Anyone who is reputed for his good activities, he lives forever. Kirti Jasya Sadi Guti. Uh, the 
Chanak Pandita also says, Kirti is who lives forever, one who has got reputation for his, one who is famous for his good activity. So don't try to lose your reputation. Uh, you are a great fighter, recognized by so many authorities, and uh, if you don't fight, uh, then people will say, now Arjuna is finished. He cannot anymore fight. So don't lose this reputation. Don't be deviated from your occupational duty as a Kshatriya. If you do all these things, then papam avapsasi. You don't think that you will be a pious. Well, on the other hand, you will become impious. Papam avapsasi. It was. <coughs> People will always speak of your infamy, and for one who has been honored, dishonor is worse than death. Akriti chāvi bhūtāṇ kathā iṣṇati te abhyāṁ sambhāvi dasya chākriti maranāda dirichyati. Sambhāvi dasya, one who is very reputed, famous man, uh, if he does something wrong, then it was better to die before such a infamy is grown. This is advice. Arjuna is famous as a great fighter. Not only that, he is personal friend of Krishna, so much so that Krishna has agreed to become his chariot driver. Just try to understand what is his position. Uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, who is worshipped by Lord Brahma, Govinda Mahadi Purusam Tamahangajani, he has agreed to drive the chariot of Arjuna on accounts of friendship. Now we have to imagine how much famous he is. Everyone says, oh, Krishna is his so intimate friend that he has agreed to drive his chariot. This is your reputation all over the world. And so sambhavita sacha And if you don't fight now, what people will say? Better you die. Krishna is advising that instead of becoming a very good man, non-violent, you lay down your life. That is my advice. You die. I shall see that you have died. I will be very much pleased. This is Krishna's advice. How much? He has become, uh, I would say, dissatisfied with the decision of our John. Uh, so Krishna, I am not going to fight this battle. Uh, so the Krishna's last advice is that if you don't fight, better you die before him, I shall be very much pleased. Then, the great generals who have highly esteemed your name and fame will think that you have left the battlefield out of fear only, and thus they will consider you a coward. Uh, this spirit of Kshatriya was prevalent even say, three hundred years ago in India, uh, there was a king, Jashubhanta Singh, uh, he was the commander-in-chief of Emperor Aurangzeb. So in one fight uh, he was defeated and came back to his home. So his wife heard that my husband has been defeated. He's 
coming back home. So he asked the caretaker to close the door of the palace. So when Jaswanta Singh came there, uh, he saw that the, his palace door is closed. Then he sent message to the queen that why you have closed the door, I have come home. Uh, so messenger came and informed that the king has come. So he is asking to open the door. The queen replied, who is king? Uh, Jasamanda Singh? No, no. Jasamanda Singh cannot come uh, being defeated. Yashubandha Singh, either he conquers the battle or he lays down his body there, dead. So the man who has come, he must be some, somebody pretender. He is not King Yashubandha Singh. So she refused to open the door. Uh, this is the spirit of Khatriya spirit. Uh, uh, so here also the same thing. Five thousand years also ago. Uh, that Krishna says that you are so reputed a fighter, and if you stop fighting, people will not consider, especially other commander in chiefs like Dunacharya, Bhishma, Karna, they are Maharathas. Maharatha means one. Uh, fighters who can uh, combat with thousands of men alone. He is called Maharatha. As nowadays the titles are captain, commander, commander-in-chief. Uh, similarly, formerly, Maharatha, Utiratha were the title given to these soldiers, fighters. So Maharatha, the the greatest commanders. So Krishna said that you are recognized one of the Maharathas. So what the other Maharathas will think of you? They will not consider that out of compassion you did not fight. They will think that out of fear you have left the battle. They will take the opposite. Out of fear, you have stopped fighting. Mangshanti Tanga Maharatha. So now you are recognized as one of the Maharatha. Jishang Chatang Bhumako. You are known by various I mean, commander in chiefs. Bhutyaja Sasila. In their eyes, you will be considered as degraded. Why should you accept? Better fight and die. That's all.